what's going on everybody? Dan here, we're at the Indy RV Expo. This is our second trip here. We've got uh, early access today. So our uh, fifth wheel for a half ton towable has done so well that I'll put a link in the description that I thought I would do some more fifth wheels. Now this one is definitely not half ton towable. But this one, as you'll see here, the 3701 LK heavy bad boy but this one has that new and i'm gonna say it wrong this one has that new uh, luxury kitchen model in it so i got nikki inside let's go take a look what's up hey Dan. hey sarah found hi. nikki hi guys good seeing you as good always you. Hi, hug. hi how are you good okay so i was just telling them that our last video, our fifth wheel for a half ton, is blowing up. Awesome. High five. Yay. So you're like a celebrity now. <laughs> I know this one in no way, shape, or form is half ton total. Absolutely not. But I'm hearing all this ranting and raving about this luxury kitchen. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Let's do the same thing we did last time. You walk us through, I'll annoy the Perfect. out of you, and Perfect. we'll go through. That's awesome. Love it. All right. So um, when you first come in, you come into the living room area, you've got the TV with the fireplace, um, that's a uh, 48 inch fireplace, I believe. Um, it is amazing. Not only is it just for looks, but it's also for um, heat. So again, if it's cool and you don't want to use your propane, then you could kick that on and heat it up in here. I like the new models. I've seen those in a I lot of them. I, I guess they made the LEDs better yes. or something. They're awesome. Yes, they are. Um, this unit actually will sleep six adults. So okay. both of the couches in this living area um, are sleeper sofas and then this one here um, is your theater seating. This one's got um, the power power buttons for opening like and closing. Yeah, it's right out. That's comfortable. I know, and they're power open and close. So you just push that button and hold it and it'll automatically open and close. It's for you lazy people that don't want to pull the lever, <laughs> is that what you're telling me? Sure. This is comfortable. Okay, so I like the living room space. I also like, um, I've seen the fifth wheels that have the raised living room, yep. and then I've seen the fifth wheels that have the raised bedroom. Yep. I think I'm becoming more partial to the raised bedroom, and I don't know why, but I think I am. Okay. But anyway, that's just a side fact. Kay. So All tell right. me about our luxury kitchen. So the luxury kitchen, this is the brand new floor plan out from Montana. Um, we saw it in September when they were debuting it. They made a couple of little changes, but it's absolutely gorgeous, as you guys can tell. Tons um, of counter tons space. Tons of countertop space. That is one of the things that we hear the most, including cabinets. You know, you can't have enough storage in a camper. That's what we hear from everybody. So yeah, absolutely. Montana's done a great job on this unit with cabinetry everywhere they've done residential i was gonna say that looks like something yep. you'd find in your house yep residential oven hood um and then you've got the furion um three burner cooktop and then also the furion oven which is much bigger than what typically comes in the um, rvs i love the big refrigerator yep. Yep. that's another plus when you're trying Absolutely. to pack for a long weekend Absolutely. or a week away yep Woodwork is gorgeous. Yeah, and they're doing it more like a wainscoting. So it looks like wood here, and then they've got something different uh -huh. at the bottom. They're trying to make it look more residential. So they're starting to do these um, plugins that have USB ports on them as well. So when you're not using them, you just push the button and it slides down inside. And then when you're ready for it, you just pull it up and it locks in place. Well, if you think about it, everybody has a cell phone, like everybody wants to charge Absolutely. their cell phone. That's, that's nice. Well, and you always have a little charger thing with exactly. you. Exactly. So you have one at the dinette table. There are actually two in the kitchen area as well. Oh, okay. I see right here yep. and right there. Yep. yep. Absolutely. This is a very, very sharp kitchen. This feels like you're in your house. It does. Tons of cabinet space. The designers at Montana do a great job of listening to what our customers are saying. Hey, we'd like to see more of this, more mm -hmm. of that, and you know they they implement it and they do a great job with it. So I like it. Couldn't be more pleased with this unit. So I like the uh, what the hell are you ceiling fan. Yeah, yeah, I like the ceiling fan. <laughs> right? I mean, it really this one really feels like a house. It is, and Montana um, is actually rated for full time living. So you have the dual um, 15,000 AC yep. uh, quiet pool yep. um, in, in this. Plus it also has a 16.5 heat pump 
included oh, wow. as well. So and a coated under, or not absolutely. a sealed underbelly? Heated and closed underbelly. This has actually been third party tested um, for 48 hours at zero degrees. Um, I'd have to get the actual specs for you on right. what the temperatures are, um, but it's fantastic. That's and this awesome. is something that we see a lot of people that are going to be snowboarding. You know, they want to travel and they may get into something where it's a little cool. This is what you call it? Snowboarding? Snowboarding? Yeah. I've never heard never of snowboarding. Never heard of snowboarding? Okay, snowboarding is like people that don't want to be here in Indiana where it's cold in the wintertime. So they'll take uh, and go south Arizona. Like the birds. Yeah, they fly south. That's awesome. All right, you can show me the rest of this <laughs> bad boy? Absolutely. Yeah, follow me, guys. I like that. I mean, there's just cabinets everywhere in this thing. So you put all your DVDs and everything up there. Mm -hmm. Another thing that they changed too is this. They put your stereo behind the glass speaker or the glass um, window so that now you don't have to leave a cabinet door open. Yep. So you can use your remotes. There's place in there you could set DVD player if you have one. Oh, I like um, that. Speakers, mm -hmm. outdoor speakers, I'm outdoor sure. Outdoor speakers, yep. yep. Um, another cool thing too is these are now wired for solar. So they're wiring them on the roof for solar. So so folks that want to do the um, off grid, mm -hmm. they can get the solar panels and oh, that's and really cool as well. Um, still equipped with the Max Air, fantastic fans with the rain guards on them. Um, so that's really cool. And this is also braced and wired for a third air conditioner. A third a air third air conditioner. Well, I guess if you're taking it out to Arizona and stuff, yep. I mean, it's gonna get a little Good. little toasty yep. out there. More cabinets. I like this. You can come in. Oh, here's the control panel. I like this. You can come straight in out of the weather, hang your keys and your coats and everything here. It's more cabinet space. That's one thing we do in ours as soon as we come in, we hang our keys there so we don't lose them. Sure. Because you only have so many keys. Absolutely. Again, they do the same pivot hinge door uh -huh. um, like we've seen before. The reason for that, they can kind of give you a smaller uh, hallway but give you a bigger bathroom. Yeah, because you still have room to, and to you clear can still it. clear through there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go into the bathroom by myself. All right. Close the door so we get the full experience. Oh, I like. Okay. Really deep storage area there. Keep all your towels and stuff. Would have to replace the shower head as always. I do like the shower. Plenty of room in here. More storage space. This is a really nice bathroom, Nikki. She probably can't hear me. Okay, I like the bathroom. I would have to replace the shower head, but aside from that, I really like the bathroom. Yeah. And then again, here's the bedroom. What size is this bed? King size bed. Sarah, it's your favorite. It's a king size bed. Yep. Oh, I love the king size bed. Look at this closet space. I know. It's beautiful. Now, our, I'm going to jump ahead of you. Am I going to see washer-dryer space in here? You are. You're going to see washer-dryer prep in here. Um, that's for a stackable washer and dryer. This unit also has central vacuum. So that's what's in that bag there is the equipment for the central vacuum. I really like this. I like that it has the little uh, tables next to the side of the bed with plug-ins. So you can plug your phone in there at night. Mm -hmm. Fancy little headboard on the back. This and one's you done really have nice. your second um, thermostat up here as well, so you can control the uh, temperature up here also. I like this. Let's see here. Little sliding barn door for closing off the bedroom. I love it. And again, wherever they can save space and don't have a doorway that swings open to hit someone or something, they do a great job with Always nice and big. I'm gonna hand the camera back off to the better camera operator right here. And then we Thank also you, do have the LED lights in the crown molding too. That's another thing that Montana does. I didn't even look, notice that, but it's more like residential. Yeah, it's very nice. It's comfortable. And you can leave that on and turn off like some of your interior lights. Um, Get a little mood lighting going yeah. in here, a little relaxation, right? I like this. I mean, it's a big price tag, but there's a lot of really nice features. I mean, it it's it's yeah. like this is I'm going to live in this. Right. Absolutely. 
Be you gonna show yep. me the outside now? Absolutely. Come on. Awesome. Are these my Moride steps? These are the Moride steps. A lot of these things. Yes, there you that is. And I love the fact that you can pick them up with one finger yeah. and they stay right where you are. Oh, absolutely. Right Here, I just got to demo that. Look at that. Zero effort. Nice. Okay, where do we start? Here's we'll the boss. Start, we'll start back here this time and work our way around. Okay. So, um, this unit does have the rear ladder and it is um, prepped for the backup camera as well. Um, it is a 50 amp service. 50 amp because you have the two ACs, Correct. right? Absolutely. You've got the extra large rain gutters and downspouts, um, frameless windows. They even put a TV on the outside, on the side here, so you can sit so outside. So many people love that. Like, I'm kind of, eh. Like, when I sit outside, I want to drink beer and sit by a fire. Right. But, like, uh, my cousin Troy has been on quite a few of our videos. He is so out of, like, I just want to sit out there and watch TV. Yep. But, I mean, well, it's a, a nice people, feature. A lot of people want to do it like I'm watching games or, or if you're tailgating somewhere. Watch a football game or something? Absolutely. Okay, that's, that's a fair point. Yeah. That's a fair point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this unit is um, equipped with the hydraulic... Um, six point level up as well so it does the self level uh, yes it does that's awesome man. and these are cheap range tires so i know that that's a big thing um you know, for the weight yep and then we've got the big main awning up here in the front again your outside speakers the full pass through storage that storage is huge so, so is this where you clean your vacuum vacuum out yes so inside and I didn't point it out, but like at the step, there's a place um, for like to turn the sweeper on, like a tow kick. So oh, you can okay. Just sweep up to it, but then there's also a hook up there for the cord. Oh, the, okay. Uh, yep. The hose. Hose. Um, and it'll reach throughout the entire length of the coach. Plus, then you can also sweep out your tow vehicle if you'd like to do so. Nice. Keep yeah. your vehicles fresh and clean. Absolutely. This pasture is huge. Amazing. Okay. It's a propane tank. Yes. It's almost like I've been in a pistol before. Oh right? no. Okay. okay. So extra storage plus getting to all of your hydraulics and battery hookup is up here in the front. Nice and easy to get to. Okay. Easy to maintain, right? Absolutely. Okay. Love the painted molded front cap. It's very that's I mean, very nice. What did you call this the last time we talked? Hitch vision. Hitch vision. It's nice. Yeah. So you just back right up to mm -hmm. it, click in. Absolutely. Keystone's also going to the uh, industry's best three-year structural warranty. Uh -huh. So that's something that we're really excited about as well. Most of the units have a one-year warranty on them, so they're stepping up and going to a three-year structural. That's awesome. Okay, what do we have on this side, Nikki? Uh, we got a lot of stuff on this side. Okay. Kind of hard to see all of it, but... Everything's kind of packed in here, isn't yep, it? Yep, it is. Um, but here's your controls for your automatic leveling. Other propane tank. Other propane tank. Again, your pass-through storage and then your convenience center. What is a convenience center? Let's talk about this. Okay, convenience center is um, basically so you can unscrew this, uh -huh. take it out. There's one underneath. You can run all your water lines um, up through here so that you don't have to leave your pass-through storage door open. Oh, that's nice. Um, everything will stay enclosed. These are your low point drains. You've got battery disconnect. You've got satellite hookup and a cable hookup. Um, this is... I mean, you literally can run everything, everything under here and keep this locked exactly. so all your stuff is safe. That is that is a really smart mm -hmm. thing. Yep, I and like then that. when it comes time to, um, you know, black tank flush, clean out your tanks, they put your um, pull tabs up here so it's easier to um, keep those out of the weather as well. Water heater? Water heater. Second slide? Or maybe what, third slide? This one has four slides actually. Four slides? Mm -hmm. I guess that's why it weighs as much as it does because you have four slides in it. What is this? Is this our outdoor shower? That's your docking station. Um, oh, yep. For gray tank. You have, since you have rear kitchen, you're going to have a yep. second gray tank. So that's your control for that. All right. Well, guys, there you go. Thanks again, as always. Hey, you're welcome.